Hey guys, welcome back. You probably hear a lot of noise in the background. Right now we've got our Yapa 395 TR running off of our um, tractor, which is our PTO power pack that we take to trade shows. The, today we're gonna fill up my six by 10 dump trailer, five by 10, five by 10. It's a five by 10, I'm not trying to cheat. My five by 10 dump trailer that we filled up in the uh, 365 videos in the past, we timed them. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing today with the 395. We've got the Yapa roller disc cleaner, we've got 395, we've got the 422 log rack. I've got some nice ash logs. Ken is back here running the Bobcat. He's gonna fill up more, um, more logs on here as we go. And uh, we're gonna see in real time how long it takes to fill up this dump trailer here. It is 25 degrees here. It says real feel is 13, I can feel it, it's cold. So I'm gonna get to work and let's see how it goes. Tension our conveyor a little bit. That's all right.
Can you go see what the person in the car wants so they don't interrupt the video? Thank you. when I push it in. This part. I love this thing. This one will go fast. We got attention the conveyor belt because she's brand new, so she's slipping a little bit. Let me give her a help.
right, so is my mic still on? We good? Okay. So um, Ken's giving me the eye like the cameras or the like the trailer's getting full here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off the conveyor here so I don't take a piece of firewood to the head. And um, I'm gonna level this off quick and see where we're at. So keep track of time. If we still got more to fill, we'll go back and run a few more logs here, but this is quite the pile of firewood here already. Uh, now, these are, some of the stuff was probably 14, 15 inch diameter and I'm going through the eight way knife. This is about, this is for me at home. So this is about as big as I want. I like a good mix because uh, we've got a parlor stove in our dining room and that's what I, that's what we, I guess it's secondary heat, but really it's my main source of heat in winter. So um, I like to start the day running the smaller pieces and then as we get really nice coals going, then I'll put the bigger pieces in one at a time. And, uh, but I really don't want to get much bigger than what I was producing out of this machine today. Obviously, you know, perfect split does a, does a lot smaller, uh, a lot more consistent um, split size than this, but this is still pretty nice looking firewood. And we just happen to have, I mean, we're lucky here in Wisconsin with what we can get for logs. Um, you saw the stuff was relatively straight. There was some knotty stuff, but you know, not too bad. And this is all ash. So we're lucky that way because we can get nice straight logs from our loggers. And uh, obviously that makes things a lot easier too. You know, there's a saying, garbage in, garbage out. Well, if you put a nice log in this machine, you're gonna get a nice final product too. So um, it's something to consider. But if you can pay more for a better grade of log per cord, even if you go from, let's say you go 80 bucks a cord to 120 bucks a cord, you're probably gonna get that much more production and um, uh, usable, usable wood at the end as a result. So I think this is a trailer full, guys. I got, there's a whole bunch on the ground over here yet. So let's, um, let's finish. Maybe it's boring watching me do this, but. And the cleaner did a pretty good job, but you can still see there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of fines on here. We can adjust the hopper on this. We didn't do that on this one yet, but we could angle our hopper up a lot more, steep it, and then that, then the wood will stay in there longer and it'll struggle to get out. So it'll get beat around by the tines a lot more. So um, yeah, I've got a bunch on the ground here to pick up. So I'm gonna do that now. And I don't know if you wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go shut this off here. Sometimes we can get a nice backfire out of this thing too. Let's see if we got it today. Nope, not today. It's because I talked about it. So like I was saying with the cleaner, we can adjust this hopper angle a little bit steeper. There's, there's angle adjustment here. And I think if we did that with today's stuff, we would have a lot less of the uh, fines on there. But yeah, I don't know what this ended up being for time. Um, pretty quick, but yeah, I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff in, put the rest of this stuff in the trailer and see where we're at. See, like this is this is this is bigger than I want really, but I'll take it because it's not the whole trailer like that. They complained to the guy that made it, right? All right, so Happy with that? I would say that's a trailer full. What do you think, Ryan? Looks looks full to me. Good enough for who it's for. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I I have to tell you, running that machine is so much fun. Really, it's fast and just easy. You want a time approximation? Sure. What do we got? What was it? About you... Ten minutes of runtime. No way. But we're at 16 minutes and we started with the intro and the outro. All right, guys, so this video is not sped up. We've had people say, when we were on the 365s too, where they're like, they're like, oh yeah, that's sped up, that's sped up. It's like, I don't know, maybe I could get a big 
clock, analog clock or a stopwatch put next to the machine. But that's why I wanted to do this, um, these, uh, these constant run videos. And you can tell I'm out of breath a little bit too, because I was kind of hoofing it. But um, with a good, a good log supply, I mean, you can expect to really fly with this machine. So um, I think that's about it for this video. I, uh, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, some of you guys guessed what this, what the output would be here. I'm going to have to look back at those comments to see who was closest. And um, I'm not sure which machine we're going to do this next with. We should, once I get a uh, 405 or 435 back here, we'll do that with the perfect split and see what the difference is. But anyway, thanks again for watching this video. If you've got any questions, comments, let us know in the comment section on YouTube. Also, if you need a machine and you need a price inquiry or anything like that, check out our website, metsamachines.com. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.